and it is getting nice out. It is warm in the springtime, and these fish are trying to crash the banks. And I want to—I get this question a lot at Bass University about how to identify when the fish are spawning. Uh, how do I how do I find good spawning locations? What, you know, what are the fish are looking for to spawn on? And I want to talk about that a little bit today. Um, right here in this pocket, we've got beautiful sunshine coming in here, hitting a lot of different banks. And that's a critical component about the spawn. The sun is a, is a key factor. It, fish do not, are not having successful spawns when it's cloudy out, it's rainy out. When this sun shines, it really warms the water temperature, but more importantly, it really drives fish to start making their spawning beds. The sun is key in hatching their eggs. It's a, it's a very, very important factor. So knowing that, that's going to be helpful in me trying to identify where exactly a bass is going to spawn. For instance, over here, we have some sun-drenched banks. That's what I'm always looking for. In uh, other times of year, uh, when the fish are feeding, Okay, fish or bass are going to position themselves in the shade. They're going to jump out from the shade and ambush prey. But during the spawn, it's opposite. They're going to be placing their beds in the sunshine. So I'm always going to be targeting the sun-drenched parts of tree stumps, of banks, of grass lines. I want to, I want to target places where the sun is shining bright down into the water because that's where they're going to be placing their beds. What I do a lot of times in the very, very early spring when uh, the fish are, I, I suspect that the fish are just starting to hit the banks to spawn, is I go all the way to the back of a creek or a major pocket. I get all the way to the back, like we are in here. And I put my trolling motor down, and I start looking and fishing my way out to the mouth, looking for an evidence of the spawn, figuring that as I'm going, I know in the backs of these pockets are where these fish are going to. So if I go all the way to the back of the pocket and they're not there yet, I can work my way out to the mouth and the points and I can encounter the fish that are starting to make their way into the backs of the pockets. If they're not spawning, I can encounter them on the way out. But when I'm, in, when I'm back in here, what I t here's how I typically fish for, for spawning fish in this, in this season, is I get up in the shallows. I get myself up in that two, three feet of water and I run my trolling motor right up into the shallows. And what I'm trying to do there is I'm trying to see fish. I'm trying to displace them a lot of times. Fish are so good at camouflaging themselves. If you're not used to looking for bedding fish, uh, if you stay out and you're real peaceful and quiet, fish can be sitting. A, a five pounder can be sitting there and sometimes you can't see them. But by getting my boat up into the shallows, what I do is I actually push him off the bed and I can, and he'll turn and, and actually try to defend his nest from me for a moment. What that does is it allows me to get a look at them. And when I don't know if the fish are spawning, that's what I want to do. I want to get a look at a few fish. I want to see if they're spawning. And, uh, and that's kind of how I do it. So I get my boat right up in there. And this is a bait that I'm always throwing when I'm in that scenario. I hope you enjoyed the preview clip. And for more like that and the entire collection, subscribe to the Bash University TV. And if you want the tackle that you see on there, I want you to go to the Bash University Tackle Shop, powered by Tackle Warehouse, and click right here, and it's all at your fingertips. You want to become a better angler? You want to catch more and bigger bass at your local pond? Then check out Bash University TV for hardcore bass fishing information. Hey, I'm Pete Gluzek. And I'm Mike Iaconelli. And this is Bash University TV. Welcome to Bass University TV, an online video training course where you'll learn champion bass fishing techniques from pro anglers Pete Gluzek, Mike Iaconelli, and their talented special guests. Everywhere I go in the country, I'm trying to use these techniques because I catch big fish that way. From on the water to in the classroom. We want to use that bait to help make that area even smaller and really, really find that sweet spot. You'll learn sound techniques and strong fundamental bass fishing skills. You want something that's got a nice limber action that's going to allow you to build pressure and keep those hooks pinned against that fish's mouth. Watch hours of video content on multiple topics at your own pace for a low monthly fee. Cancel at any time. Hold on, because you're going to catch some big <laughs> fish.
Information is power in the sport of fishing, so learn from the very best. That's a key theory in all of fishing. Subscribe to Bass University TV today. Man, does it trigger a lot of strikes. Here's the part that you're not going to hear anywhere else. This is the Bash University TV exclusive.